Whether it be the dead of winter or the middle of summer, bikes get dirty, there's just no way around it. We have the Grand Falls pressure washer from Giraffe Tools. I'm gonna to show you how that thing works and see how it holds up. Now it's no surprise that in the box, everything is there from the pressure washer to the hose and nozzle and spray fittings to the wall plate that is included to mount this on the wall. This is a wall mounted unit. It doesn't have to go laying around the garage, getting in the way. It is attached to your wall, fixed there. You run the hose to it, turn it on, and then it has that retractable hose, all 100 feet of it to go all the way to the other side of the driveway with ease. Now I wasn't kidding when I said it comes with a 100 foot long hose. There is so much here. I'm actually leaving my own property and now going to the neighbor's house. And it is actually self-guiding when it's retracting. So right now it's winding up all smooth and even to not get bound up. And you just simply walk it back. Just like that, guys. Now this pressure washer is rated for 1800 PSI. And although I don't have a gauge to do the test for you, I have seen plenty of other videos and reviews that show it getting very, very close to that 1800 PSI range. In addition, the Grand Falls is spec at 2.1 gallons per minute, which is a very low water volume dispense, which is great to keep those costs down on your water bill. The Grand Falls is electric pressure washer. So when it comes to choosing a location for wall mounting it, closer to an outlet is probably a better idea. They do supply in the box a five foot attachment hose. So you can leave that hooked up to the pressure washer itself. And then the other end of the line is ready and open for your garden hose to come over and screw on in there. I have mine in the garage right now on and it doesn't leak. So it does seal up very well. All right, the most important parts of a pressure washer happen to be the spray nozzle, the fittings, and all the other accessories that they tend to come with. This specific pressure washer comes with not only the spray nozzle, but four individual degreed spray tips to put onto that nozzle. In addition to those tips, something to make washing your bikes and your car that much easier is this spray foamer. Simply put in your soap solution, adjust your flow, and let her have it. Now Giraffe Tools is known for their retractable hoses. So this retractable hose for the spray nozzle is so convenient when wanting to walk across the lawn or across the driveway and not have to deal with winding up that hose at the end. It just pull a little tension and it'll walk itself back in. When washing an electric bike, it is great that they provide those four separate angled fittings to go on there for the spray nozzles. But I like to start with the 40 degree, which is the widest one that they offer. And it's great for washing bikes. It'll get all the chunk and dirt and gunk off of the bike. But when you get closer to those bearings and those seals, you can kind of pull back and it is a wider flow to not force water into those bearings or into those electrical components. Again, when washing electric bikes or really any bike for that matter, bearings and pivots and electrical components are things that you want to be gentle with, especially when using a pressure washer. Fortunately, that 1800 PSI range and a 40 degree spread is nice and gentle and something that I'm not worried about damaging those components. So one of the cool features about this pressure washer is that when you pull the trigger, that motor will come on and build up that pressure and get you going. But the moment you let off, it'll ramp down, release some pressure and turns off and go silent again. Something I think that's neat that they include with the whole kit is this soap bottle. I have some Maximum Bike Wash in here, which is my preferred bike cleaner. And you're able to put that in the bottle, adjust your nozzle for your flow, and cover whatever it is that you're washing, in this case, the bike. 
and uh, I'll show you kind of what the flow and spread looks like on minimum. So as you can see with this on the minimum, it's a very wet and loose, less foamy um, kind of spray. It's still is saturated with that soap and I'm gonna let it sit for a second, grab a sponge and give it a good wipe down before I rinse it off with that 40 degree again. And uh, I always like to start with uh, the frame first since that's gonna be what gets scratched up soonest. And uh, any of those really rough spots, I kind of save for the end um, so that way it doesn't get all over the sponge and end up scratching the paint of the bike. Well, before this dries off in the sun, I'm gonna grab that 40 degrees spray and start at the top and rinse everything down. When rinsing it down, obviously I start at the top, but I like to keep the nozzle a little bit further back so it's very open and loose. At this point, it should be clean. So I'm just trying to get the soap and everything off of there so I can dry it. All in all, the Grand Falls pressure washer is a great pressure washer to consider for anyone looking for something to keep up with their maintenance of cleaning their bikes and maybe their car. Um, the standouts for me are that retractable hose. It makes setting up and putting away so quick, so seamless, so easy, and just keeps things not in your way. In addition to that theme of keeping things out of the way, the wall mounted aspect of this pressure washer is super convenient. You just commit to that one spot you wanna put it and it's there. No tripping on it in the garage, no lugging it across the driveway. It's just set up. And you have that 100 feet of range to just go super far away from wherever you mount it. So it buys a lot of grace in putting it in a very strategic area of your garage. Well, I've got another bike I gotta wash here, but be sure to click subscribe. We're doing a bike giveaway and the numbers are showing that you're watching this, you're probably not subscribed. If you wanna win a free bike, all you gotta do is subscribe. So click it down below, over here, somewhere. Get after it. I'm gonna get to washing.